Hello and welcome to BusyWorksBeats.com. I never thought I'd see the day where the SSL Fusion and the Neve Portico are combined into one plugin. This is insane. For those who don't know, I had a, a SSL Fusion and um, it was it was like the thing I used all the time. It just added a thing to the sound. I'm gonna play a track right now that has that sound to it. So listen to like the the depth of the low mids and how it pulls and how wide it is. It's 100 to 1, nigga. You already know what it is, man. It's cold outside. We coming strong 2020, man. But it's hot in this 18 movie. songs a day. Yeah. We be on your back. Do that. Move that. So when I first heard the SSL Fusion, I was like, what the F? Why was I mixing with anything else? Now, to be fair, my processing chain back in the day was Neve tape emulators, I think 543 or two, I forget the exact number. And then I went into a Dione, which is basically an SSLG compressor. And then I went into the SSL Fusion after another EQ. So that was my chain. And it just sounded so cohesive and wide. So what we're gonna do is compare it against that type of mix. Now these beats are a lot different than that record. But we're going to try uh, messing with this Infuse plugin. So firstly, it took me a long time to figure out how to switch like between the plugins. Over on the left side is where you have the Neve. And then here you have the SSL Fusion. So I'm going to use the SSL Fusion. I don't know what the Neve sounds like, so it's hard for me to reference that from memory. But let's go to Presets and Default. And let's switch this to F. And let's start messing with this. So first thing is this Saturator. And the cool part is you can switch out the modules. So if you want the EQ from the Neve or the compressor from the Neve, you can switch these out. Very unique. Um, you know, when I was doing my research for the studio, I was these were the top two uh, outboard processing units I was looking at for mastering the Neve and the uh, SSL. And the SSL to me gave me more value for the dollars spent. And Neve was was high up there as well. But I ended up going with the SSL. So the the fact that they fuse these two plugins in the one is insane to me. So let's see how wide we can make this these beats. So firstly, again, saturation, EQ, compression, width. So I like to start with the saturation first. Let me make sure this plugin, firstly, we gotta make sure the plugin's actually on. Okay, there we go. So I would turn my density all the way up and mess with the drive. And that adds that like density to the track. So now we have with like density, basically. Now this beat's a little quiet, so what I'm going to do is crank it up uh, with the clip gain. So you can hear that's a really nice crunch to the sound. Now what I loved about the SSL Fusion was the EQ on the high end. You could turn this thing all the way up. It just would sound magical. It never sounded bad. So let's boost this at about 12K. Let's just boost this. So this gives me the same vibes and the fact that you could just boost this till infinity. It just sounds good. Like nothing sounds bad through this high end EQ. I didn't really mess with the low end EQ. It looks like it gives it more options too, because from what I remember, it was pretty limited on the low end range, but I forget the exact numbers on the exact unit, but this is a really nice EQ. It even made my vocal sound way more open. Now what I'm going to do is mess with the Neve compression. Um, on the SSL, I never really got into their compression because it was a high frequency uh, compressor. And there was another way to switch it between high frequency compression and regular compression. But I just never really used it unless I needed to take out the high end. Um, so what I'm going to do is switch it to the Neve compressor because this one I did like from the demos online. Now, it looks like it's slamming pretty hard. So what I'm going to do is pull back the input gain. So here's all the way down, basically. So I'm assuming each dot represents a dB. I'm guessing I didn't read the manual all the way yet. So very transparent compression. So I don't know what high ratio means. Okay, so I guess it's high ratio on the compression. So let's pull this back. So now we're gonna have, I believe, subtle, more subtle compression. So I, 
I like the more subtle compression, so I turn that off. Um, this is a high pass filter, so if you don't want the kick to trigger the compressor, you could just uh, turn this off or turn this up. Okay, so the magic of the SSL to me was the width. It was something I've never heard before. It was a dimension knob and a width knob or space knob. I forget the exact name on the SSL. I think they may have changed the name. I could be wrong. So, but the space knob was the magical knob. So I'm gonna mess with this knob first. The width is more of just making stuff wide. In fact, let's make this mono. And now you can really feel that movement. I actually love this on my vocal. It sounds really good. So now we're gonna use the space. And what I found out what it, the space knob was or the dimension knob on the uh, SSL, basically is boosting the, the sides at about 300 hertz, somewhere around that range, 200, 300 hertz. And it was boosting that on the sides. So it made it feel really warm. So the way I got this warmth sound is from the dimension knob. It's 100 to 1, nigga. You already know what it is, man. It's cold outside. We coming strong 2020, man. You could just feel the audio. Like, you could feel it. It's different. So what these analog units taught me is that it, that was like, this is sonics. This is feeling the music, not just hearing it. Not just changing tone, but feeling it. So let's see if this knob gives us that same kind of vibe. Again, this is a whole different song, so it doesn't have all the frequency content from the other song. So I'm really loving this width and the uh, space knob so far. Now, also what I love too was the Neve version of this when I was looking at stuff online. So I want to see what their sounds like. Now this looks like it just does width and then you can filter out, uh, I believe what's on the sides maybe as far as lows. I love how it keeps your settings too. So if you switch back and forth, it keeps your settings. So let's eight, let's turn it on and off. Here's off. One thing I learned about the SSL Fusion is like, oh, maybe my track doesn't need to be wider. It needs to be more narrow. Funny enough. Um, so sometimes you'll pull this to the left and be like, why does it sound better? Okay, so let's A, B the entire chain. Here's before. So if I had to like really A, B it, you know, I'm hearing a subtle difference more in the highs than anything. Um, but, you know, would it make or break the beat? Not necessarily, um, but it is a really nice sound. So again, it's not as like sonically rich as I remember. And again, the hard part about this analysis is that when I was running stuff through my chain, it was more than just the SSL. It was the Neve tape emulators. It was the you know, the Dione compressor adding harmonic distortion. It was it was a couple other things beforehand, plus different um, instruments. So I'm going to run some more beats through it until we like get a nice formula for this. So far, I'm liking the plugin, though. OK, let's go back to default and let's see what we. So this one, I'm just going to mix and then we're going to A-B it.
Now, one thing I loved about my Neve uh, channel strips was the red silk. I think it's called silk red or something like that. Um, uh, you know, saturator, whatever it did to the sound, it just added like an extra thing. I don't know what exactly it was, but it just added that thing. And it was the red uh, version of it on the Neve channel strip from the tape emulator. So that I do know pretty well as far as the sound. And the compressor, the compressors, I'm not as familiar with. Now for this track, this high end is magical. I'm, push, I'm pushing this, it says 6 dB, but it sounds super magical. It sounds like I could keep pushing the high end and it just sounds good. That's what we want in a plug-in, is whatever they did with this EQ for the Neve sounds impeccable at 11.5 kilohertz for this track. a fan of the lower ratio compression it sounds really good so let's a b this from the beginning I want to see what happens if we boost going into the saturation. I'm not sure how the red works exactly, um, but from what I remember with the tape saturators that I had as a 500 channel, you would have to boost the volume going into them to hear the crunch. So I'm not sure if this is just more of a tone shaper um, or what the ZNR drive stands for, um, but we'll see. Let me just kind of mess with these knobs, these buttons. So I tried boosting going into the plugin. I'm not hearing much of a difference. Maybe I have to drive it more, but I'm not hearing any saturation on the sound. I'm hearing more of a tone shaper. So this one's just clearly brighter um, after.
One thing I forgot to turn on is the oversampling. So this might blow up my computer, <laughs> my recording. So let's do four times oversampling. I forgot to turn that on for quality purposes. That dark knob on this saturation is insane. I assume the red does more with the highs. This dark knob is filthy for hip hop beats. I use the EQ to boost the 75 Hertz. Now that I could do with any EQ, I would do that with Fab Filter most of the time. But the fact that we could do it pretty quickly in this plugin is cool. I'm not sure of the bell curvature, but I like to boost the 60 and 75 Hertz to add that feeling to the bass. Okay, so with the dark knob on, I do hear a difference with the ZNR uh, button there. So I'm not sure what it does, but it probably adds more harmonic activity. Now I can feel the song as opposed to just hearing it. This one, it, this is a nice setup. I like this. Neve, it won me over even more with the EQ boost that I made and the saturation on the dark mode. I didn't even know what dark mode did. I thought that was more of the blue mode from the um, silk stuff that was on the uh, 500 channel strip. All right, so now we're going to put it on 16 times sampling, and then we're going to run it through this chain here. And we're going to AB this chain. So I love this plugin because it adds the feeling to the sound. That was the one magical thing about outboard gear when I used it. It added a feeling to the sound and it gave definition to the word sonics. So when I hear this, it truly gives the word feeling to the sound. Like if I turn off the imager and play this again, it's something magical about this imager. Even if it's just like a time delay or whatever, it just it knows the math behind it to where it sounds magical and I can feel it. It resonates deeper. So let's play it before and after. Um, with and then without the uh, stereo imager.
So those settings are so good that I'm liking the Neve a little bit more than the SSL, but the SSL imager, nothing's beating that sound for me. So what I'm going to do is run the other two beats through it, even though they're completely different beats. Let's see what they sound like. I'm just going to have to make sure we have different levels going into the plugin. So let's just see what this chain sounds like on the other beats. Alright, so it worked on the second beat, it just had to turn down the compression a little bit. So the beat slapped without this plugin, but what this plugin adds is the feeling. Okay, so this is crazy to think they merged two of my favorite units for outboard gear into one and to think that it's affordable. Like a lot of companies don't understand the pricing. This company gets it, at least for now. It's 99 bucks right now. I'm going to grab this thing as soon as possible because I can't believe that they figured out the way to put this into a plugin. Two of my favorite units, and I've actually had the SSL Fusion before and some Neve units as well going into the SSL. So the fact that they've just put two worlds together, my favorite, really I've been learning the Neve is more my favorite sound, um, but there's parts to the SSL sound as well, like the saturation and the um, stereo imaging and the EQ too. So those are my favorite uh, components. Again, this is magical. I'm surprised this company did it. Shout out to Kive Audio and Go support them, guys. This, this is nuts. Peace out, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Peace.